Today, I will walk you step by step through web hosting buying process via Hostinger. I will show you the easiest way to do it, how to save a lot of money while doing it, and how to actually activate your web hosting. Because forgetting this is causing a lot of trouble for a lot of people. I will also go and show you the clear pricing structure that I have made for you and I'll go and show you clear differences between each plan because it is made super confusing for complete beginners. I will go and also show you the performance and the full buying process until we will be on our new website. This way you will have everything you need to go and create a website with Hostinger. First mistake a lot of people do, they will go and type Hostinger into their Google and go directly to their website. But this is not the best approach. Why? Because Hostinger thinks you are already knowing about them and they will not apply the best sales for you. So if you want to go and guarantee yourself that you will be shown the best deals, you need to go and use someone's links because Hostinger is still thinking that you are not decided. So they will go and apply the biggest sales for you. So you can go and for example, use my link in the description, which will support this channel. So here we can see we have multiple options inside here. Just a quick disclaimer, this is only for shared hosting. If you want to go and have massive website using VPS or virtual private server, you want to go with something else. If you already have a website that's already getting hundreds and hundreds of thousands of visitors, you want to go with something else. Hostinger is best for shared hosting smaller websites. So we can see we have three basic options inside here. Now, don't worry, those sales, they're not time limited. They're always there. This is just the scare tactic that every single web hosting provider is using. You don't need to worry about this. Now, I get that this may be very confusing if you go inside here and start looking through it. So I've created my custom visuals inside here in Excel to go and show it to you in a very easy, understandable way. So you can see we have three plans inside here, premium, business and cloud startup. Let's start from the back, cloud startup. This I would only recommend if you are building a very, very big e-commerce store. Otherwise, I don't think you need it. This is definitely overkill for everybody. Do not waste money on this. So it's really between premium and business. You can see the differences inside here. So with premium, you get to build 100 websites and from business also 100. Number of visitors, you get to have around 25,000 a month and 100,000 a month on business plan. From my experience, the business plan is definitely also much, much faster. You can see the premium plan, they are using SSD storage. You get 100 gigabytes of it, which is very, very generous. But the SSD, even though it is definitely faster than hard drive, it is way slower than NVMEs. And I would definitely go and recommend you, if you are looking for a website that will be needing to have a lot of speed, for example, for SEO purposes, I would definitely go and suggest you to go with the business. You will also get free content delivery network or CDM. This will go and spread your website along multiple servers around the world to make the loading times easier from certain locations. You will also get some cool AI features. If you're planning to use Hostinger's website builder tool, which is basically a replacement for weeks and Squarespace and stuff like that. You just go there, it's drag and drop editor, very easy way to make a website. You will get a plethora of AI features extra with this plan. I have been testing those and I especially like the AI writer and also image generator. It is way more usable than all the others. For example, Ineos, it was complete disaster what they have made. So this I think is definitely worth it. Also, one difference in here is with premium plan, you are only getting one weekly backup, whereas with business plan, you are getting a daily backup. So if you're planning to make a website with multiple changes around the week, it's definitely good to have a daily backups. Price for web hosting is definitely something that is very hard to explain because it's very specific. That's why I built custom visuals for it to make it easier for you. So here we can see, this is the first time price, okay? They are trying to lure you in, so they will give you some discounts. They have multiple options in here. This is what they are advertising on their website. So if you land there, this is what you will see. Usually this is divided by number of months for the longest time period to make it look like the biggest deal inside here. But you can choose from four terms inside here for every single plan. You can do one month, 
one year, two year, and four years. One month, that's a complete scam, okay? Do not do it. It's specifically designed to be overpriced, so nobody goes with it, and you will also not get free domain with it. So with domain price included, it basically will cost you like one year term in sun here. So this, definitely, you don't need to worry about it, don't go for it. The choice is between one year, two year, and four years in sun here. And you can see the price differences between those as well. From my recommendations, even though a lot of people would go and try to suggest to you that you should go with cloud startup because those companies, if you are losing our links, they can go and pay a certain commission from it. So if you go and refer them that, hey, you need to go for this super, super expensive plan, which you don't actually need, you will be getting a lot more money. But you, you don't need it, actually. It is definitely overpriced for what you can be getting with something else. Also, all of those prices are with using code LUCA7, which will give you extra 7% off, which is not advertised anywhere on their website. So you can see this is just another extra saving you can get. One good part with Hostinger is definitely their domain prices in here because they are surprisingly fair, okay? If you are going in with a term of one year and more, you will be getting the first year completely for free. Or if you are going for one month plan, you will need to go and pay extra 10 bucks for it. The renewal is only 17 bucks, which is honestly kind of good value as of now. And who is privacy is already included completely for free because this is one of the ways a lot of web hosting provider is trying to rip you off as a customer. For example, SiteGround, you can see how ridiculously expensive it is to go with those. And you definitely want who is privacy. This will go and protect your personal information from everyone to be able to go and find out online. So you definitely want to go and have it. And look at the differences. If you are eight years on side ground, it is nearly $200 more than being with hosting. And this is only for domain. This is crazy. So you definitely want to go and be aware that in Hostinger, it is fine. But if you are going with different web hosting provider, do your calculation. But with Hostinger, it is still relatively fine. And then we have the price of renewal. This is what a lot of people forget to mention because this is actually where you start paying the real price in here. And you can see the saving, you can save money only on the first term, okay? The renewal doesn't matter, completely same prices. So if you want to go and save money, you can do it within the first four years. Here is how much would it be costing for business plan. This is something that I personally use the most because I think it's the best. Okay, so you get to go and choose if you want to go and pay a little bit more upfront, but save a lot of money in a long run. This is something that I personally prefer. And you can see the savings in here are pretty significant. The only difference is going to be that when renewal comes, you will need to pay that specific term. But just between us, you also can go and negotiate with their support to get lower. This is something that I did for SiteGround as well. And you can always go and change your plan. So if you, for example, go and outgrow business plan and you want something more, you can do it. So don't worry about that. And you can see this is why a lot of people are going in here. I have been doing this for multiple years and I can say from my experience that those prices will 100% not stay the same. With inflation, how everything is rising, also those prices are rising and rising and rising. So that's why I like to pay a little bit more upfront now, but I know that in multiple years, it would save me even more money with prices rising. So that's why I genuinely go for four year business plan most often. In terms of performance, if you want to have better performance, go for business plan. If it's just your hobby website, go and save yourself some money you don't need it. You can see inside here that Hostinger, they have very steady page speed as of last year. This is something that we want to go and see. We do not want to go and see some spikes, for example, like Bluehost has or Hostgator has. This is something that we don't want to go and see. Also, in terms of uptime, they are guaranteeing 99.99%, which is a lot. And you can see last year they have actually achieved it. So in this sense, I think you will be just fine. And it really depends on how the actual tracking of this is set up because I can show you that multiple publications have a different. From my experience, 
it is a normal good running web hosting provider you can see sometimes it's very very fast sometimes it's a little bit slower but on average it seems to be very stable and quite good this can be due to for example your data center location and where the test audience is coming from so there are a lot of variables but we can see it is steady that's something we want to see so let's go actually to the platform itself if you want to go and grab the deal we just come to the plan and click on choose plan now inside here you can see the multiple savings you get to get and the fun stuff is if you go and use another coupons like this you can save even more money so since this is just demonstration video and I already am paying for my subscriptions in there, I will go with one year term. But once again, if you want to go and lock in those savings, I would go and recommend you to go with 48 month period. So now I'm happy with this and we can go and click on continue. And here we just need to go and sign up. I've created completely new email for this just to be sure that there is nothing pre-made in here. So I will just go copy it inside here and we can go and click on continue. Now they're asking us a few informations inside here. Once again, you can go and apply coupon Luca7 to get 7% off inside here and you can see the saving in there. This is something that I haven't done in the setup. So definitely keep that in mind. Billing information, it's pretty standard. Once filled up, you just need to go and click on continue and you will go and get your payment details inside here so you can see multiple options in here i will go and choose the credit card here you can see i have filled up all my information in here and the tax will be applied based on the country you are currently resigning in so i will go and submit this payment and it should all go smoothly through this now i just need to go to my banking and confirm this payment it has been done and the payment went through. So we successfully get our hosting ready for us. Now we get to claim our domain name and we get to go and make our website. Here they will go and ask us a few basic questions so we can go and answer them inside here. Here you will have three options how to make website. You have WordPress, which is one of the most popular. You can use a hostinger website builder, which is basically something like Wix. It's just simple drag and drop editor. You don't need to download anything, or you can go with empty PHP and HTML website. So you just go write it on your own and host it on this platform. So in here, you need to choose one of those two. Let's go with uh, WordPress inside here. Then they will go and share the login information in here. This I'm not going to show to you, but this is going to be your pre-made password. It's a random letters in there. So you want to go and change it in WordPress as soon as possible and definitely save this in here because when you go to WordPress login, which is this site, you will be entering this. In that way, you don't need to go and always come through your web hosting to access your website. Here you get to go and choose whatever type of website you are building. And here you need to go and put in your domain. So... Don't forget to use your top level domain, your .com and stuff like that. So we can see lookanotehosting.com is free. I will go with that and click on next. Now you get to go and select your domain. You need to register domain separately. So definitely use your real information inside here. We're going to go on next steps. So don't worry, you need to input your information here as well. It is necessary because these domain are registered with a different registrar form. So this is just for legal reasons inside here. You can see it already took all of my information. So I can just click on finish registration and it should be done inside here. And don't worry, whenever you are choosing WordPress or empty PHP or HTML website or even Hostinger AI website builder, you get to go and change it also. Remember, you can go and make 100 websites. So you can make 50 WordPress websites, 20 Hostinger AI websites and 30 just leave it empty here they're asking us where is our target audience okay located so if you are for example from europe and you are writing for us audience you want to go and choose the server closest to your target audience not towards your location this is where a lot of people make a mistake so for me this is the us you can see it's either Massachusetts or Arizona. I know it's Arizona, so I will go with this server location, but they have coverage 
all over the world, which is super nice. Then we just need to go and click on next and they're installing WordPress for us. Everything's gonna be done for us. And we can see we successfully have our WordPress inside here. It was really that easy. You have a lot of cool content inside here that you get to go and follow. One thing, if you want to go and change your login information in here, just go into users. You are currently the only one in here on administrator role. Just click on edit. And inside here, you will go and set new password in here that you will be able to go and use when you are logging in through WordPress. Now, when creating website with Hostinger, you will get those four emails inside here. So you get your verified email, payment received, verify your email address to use for your domain, so this specific one, and also website launch tutorial, how to go and start building it. What I also want to go and show you is the actual Hostinger platform. So here we can see the H panel of Hostinger in here. And this is where a lot of people make mistake. They will just go and start building a website. But there is a thing that a lot of people are forgetting. You need to go and verify your email. So I will go and send verification email again. And you can see I have received my verify your email address. And this one came in the latest but you as you can see you have also received one while you are signing up so if you need to you don't see it you can just resend it one more time i'm gonna click on verify and you can see this has been done and we have no more information in here as you can see we have all the informations we need inside here we have our experience date if you go with four year term which i would definitely recommend you can go and do it inside here you can manage all of your hosting domains and stuff like that in here if you want to go and build a different type of website you can come inside here under websites this is the one we made with wordpress but don't worry you get to go and do it also with different options you can see it inside here you can migrate website from a different web hosting provider you can do empty website, so you will do your own PHP and HTML, and you can just host it in here. You can do Hostinger Website Builder and WordPress as well. So if you go with Hostinger Website Builder, it will go and take you through a few quizzes, and you can go and do it with this super cool AI. But don't worry, I'm making a complete tutorial about it, but it's really, really easy, and they're really, really using AI in a good terms. Once again, if you want to go and make sure that you are saving even more money go and use code luca7 and use my link in the description this way you will also support this channel thank you for your time have a nice rest of your day and goodbye